orgasmic dysfunction. Girl, we got an epidemic going on. What is up, sapiosexuals? Thank you for turning on Sex and South Beach. So the sex situation we're getting into today is all about anorgasmia. I know you like when I use those big words, right? Mm. Otherwise known as female sexual dysfunction. And people, I'm going to keep it real. This is a major problem across the globe. Women are not coming. Dang. And it's a big, big, I mean, seriously, take that smile off your face. This is a serious problem, okay? Wait till women start saying no to sex because y'all not making us come. You better pay attention. Hmm. Did you know 15% of women? 15%, okay? 15% of women have never, never, never had an orgasm. Oh, that's sad, y'all. But we ain't here to cry. Mm -mm. Dry your tears, beautiful one, okay? Because today's show is all about learning ways to stop the orgasmic dysfunction epidemic. That's right. We're going to lift your spirits, right? And mm -hmm, mm -hmm, hopefully we're going to also uh, loosen up your lubrication and all that stuff holding you back, girl. Mm -hmm. It is March, which means it's also women's herstory month and to honor all of the women around the world we are diving into female sexuality all month long mm -hmm. so the biggest sex problem in the world right now is women are not having orgasms oh no now if you've been listening to this show for a while you probably already know that about 75 percent of women that's 75 percent of women across the globe well, we cannot, cannot achieve an orgasm through penetration alone. What? No, your penis doesn't do it. No, 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 no. Not for 75% of women. Your penis alone don't do it, okay? That's very, very important for you to understand. The vast majority of women need something other than or added to their penetration experiences in order to achieve a climax. Very, very important point. At the start of today's show, I told you 15% of women have never had an orgasm. In addition to that, about 50% of women are not satisfied with the frequency or the quality of their orgasms. That is awful. Sapiosexuals, we have a problem. So let's get down to the nitty gritty and understanding it. Anorgasmia, or female sexual dysfunction, has been contextualized into four categories according to the symptoms, okay? There's lifelong anorgasmia, which is like never had an orgasm, and this is what occurs in about 15% of women. And then there's acquired anorgasmia, which is used to be able to have orgasms. You know, with my old partner I can come, but now I can't, okay? So used to be able to have orgasms, but now having difficulty. Then there's situational anorgasmia, which is women are able to orgasm in certain situations only, under certain circumstances, such as during oral sex. Good tip, men. Make women have an orgasm during oral sex, okay? She might have situational anorgasmia, which means she can only come through oral sex. Okay, but back to situational anorgasmia. These are women who are only able to orgasm in certain circumstances, such as during oral sex or masturbation, or only with a certain partner, like the guy who performed oral sex on her a lot, okay? <laughs> and then there's generalized anorgasmia. And these people are not able to have an orgasm in any situation or with any partner, okay? So you can see that there might be some overlap in these categories, but this is how medical providers are thinking about anorgasmia. And I know that you're a sapiosexual, someone who's attracted to intellect. I know that you're a very smart person and you want to be able to have these very intellectual, high-end conversations with your doctor, which is why it's important that you know all of the appropriate terms, or at least some of them, right? So you could put your doctor on like the spot, like, help me with my anorgasmia, okay? Right? Make them do some studying. And the next step that doctors and us have to do in understanding orgasmic dysfunction, well, it centers around what causes it. Now, what could cause a woman not to have an orgasm? Hmm. 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 Right, it's not you because you're such a great lover. I get that, okay? But what could cause her not to have an orgasm? One, 
antidepressants. Now, this is the most commonly used prescription drugs, okay? And it also causes the biggest loss in sexual satisfaction. And that's messed up. You're like, I was sad, so I took some medications. Now I'm happy, <laughs> but I do not want sex, okay? That's not good. Two, hormonal changes. Stress hormones, menopause, hormone replacement therapy, Anything that mediates or modifies a woman's hormones will can also impact her ability to have an orgasm. Another thing, illness, cancer. I gave a sex talk to cancer survivors at the Sylvester Cancer Center here in Miami because we have so many women surviving cancer and so few people educating them about how to rebuild their sex life after cancer. But this is another reason that causes problems in women's ability to orgasm. As we all know, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, they have skyrocketed in the last couple of decades, just skyrocketed. So women even younger than 30 are now experiencing these problems. And these illnesses can definitely impact the way that a woman is able or not able to experience an orgasm. Diabetes, this is another super common problem that a lot of people have. And a few years ago, I published an academic manuscript highlighting how women with diabetes experience very high rates of sex problems, even higher than men with diabetes. And that's saying a lot because we all know that men with diabetes often experience erectile dysfunction. But not a lot of people have looked into how diabetes affects women. Well, women with diabetes, they have less lubrication, less desire, less arousal. So this is really an area that definitely deserves more attention. Stress. Stress is the killer of sexual satisfaction, not only for women, but for everybody. And did you know stress is the main reason that I created Sense Aromatherapy Body Oil? Yes, it is made from the most powerful essential oils that have been scientifically proven to stimulate feelings of pleasure. And at the medical school, so many stressed out doctors, well, they use sense aromatherapy body oil every day to de-stress just throughout the day so they have better clinical encounters. And let me tell y'all, it don't only work if you're a doctor seeing patients, okay? In the bedroom, so many men and women have told me that a massage with sense body oil, it gives them the aromatherapy boost they need to de-stress, calm down, and enjoy sex. That's what I'm talking about. S-E-N-S-E-BodyOil.com. Get yours and get your orgasms back. Inhibition. Now, a lot of people can't have orgasms because they feel inhibited. Many people who are raised in highly religious families, they don't feel comfortable expressing their sexuality, right? Or many people have been raised in countries or situations where sexual pleasure is not emphasized. It's not a priority. And when people have suffered from that type of inhibition throughout their lives, it's very hard then to say, okay, I'm free to have an orgasm. Let's go, okay? Sexual trauma. Now, we all know about one in three women has experienced sexual trauma, so it's very important that partners of women are sensitive to this possibility. And we've done quite a few shows on recovering from sexual trauma because it's such an important area for the world to pay attention to. So please check out our shows on mindfulness and trauma after you finish listening to this one, baby. <laughs> Another reason women are not having orgasms is very simple. Under education. Now, I know that uh, President Trump loves the undereducated population, but you know what the undereducated population doesn't have? Great sex skills, right? They do not have high levels of self efficacy. And what self efficacy means, it's like a person's confidence in carrying out specific actions. So, so many people have not received comprehensive sex ed, like most of us have never been taught any skills other than through trial and error with a partner, right? So not only are most people undereducated when it comes to sexual skills, but they also are not confident. They have low self-efficacy that they can even implement effective sexual moves. You know what I'm saying? So again, we know President Trump loves the undereducated population, but I would not want to have sex with an undereducated person, okay? Get your education on. Keep listening to this show. Learn some skills and up your sex game. And you know what? Really, is it's massive. This is the real reason why so many women are not having orgasms. It is a massive problem that is easily corrected. Okay, you ready? Pay attention. Sit down. Unskilled 
partners, okay? Simple. And along those lines, unskilled partners. This is another major factor in women being unable to achieve an orgasm. For example, I work out in this like super swanky gym on South Beach. So all the gorgeous women go there, right? I mean, the most gorgeous women you've seen in your life. You go to the locker room, you're like, is this like a Playboy bathhouse? What, why are all these beautiful women here? Walking around naked, looking just perfect. But in the locker room, all of these beautiful, physically perfect women, you know what they do? They complain to me about their inability to achieve an orgasm with the guy who they're dating. And you know what I always ask my first question is, is does he go down? And I'm so sad to say that most of these women, and when I say most, like over 90% of these gorgeous women in South Beach at the gym who are just simply physiological specimens of beauty, you know what they say? No, the guy that they're dating isn't going down. And I'm like, what? What's wrong with him? I explained to them that their partner has to develop better sex skills and understand how to turn you on. And with that, I encourage them to have a mature discussion about sexual desires with their partner. But unfortunately, it's so much easier to have sex than to talk about it, right? And some women are never able to communicate their sexual desires to their partners. Other women, they're with men who they are, they want to communicate their sexual desires and then they build up the courage and then they do communicate their sexual desires to these men. But you know what? Some of these men are not receptive to listening to what women want. <laughs> like, what? So they tell the guy, look, I need you to do that. And then the guy comes back and is like, nah, uh, uh, because I'm so good. My penis is so big. You don't know how to come, girl. So what I'm telling you is these limitations can really diminish sexual satisfaction, okay? But the good news is you can always turn on this show with your partner. And I promise, I mean, pinky promise, y'all, the sexual discussion will begin, okay? All you have to do is turn on this show. It's going to start a sexual discussion that is guaranteed to teach you more about yourself and your lover. Plus, you're both going to laugh a little bit and nobody's going to get blamed for bringing up weird sex stuff because you all going to blame it all on me. <laughs> So now that you understand a bit more about how common female sexual dysfunction is and some of the potential causes, let's talk about some treatments that can help women regain their orgasmic powers. There's Addy. This is an FDA-approved prescription medication designed to ignite sexual desire within a woman's brain. Now, if you've listened to my other show about preparing a woman's brain for sex, you'll understand how important it is for a female to be mentally ready to experience her ultimate sexual potential? Well, listen up. Addy is the first drug that doctors can prescribe to help turn on the desire for sex inside of a female brain. Boom, they figured it out. Turn us on in our brain and mm, we might let you do a train. No, I'm just kidding, that just rhymed. We're not gonna let you do a train. That's some bullshit, okay? <laughs> oh, shot. This is the vampire facial for a woman's vagina. Now, a couple of years back, Kim Kardashian did a vampire facial on TV, showing how doctors extracted blood for platelet-rich plasma and then injected it back into her face. And of course, this is why Kim Kardashian's face always looks brand new. <laughs> well, the O-Shot is an outpatient procedure that uses the same technique on the vagina, and many claim it will make your vagina feel brand new too. What? Seriously, it has been said to restore the vagina back to its most orgasmic stage. And the great thing about the O-Shot is there's no medication involved. It's seriously just extracting the platelet-rich plasma from your own body, okay? And then there's the Mona Lisa laser. This is another outpatient procedure that can be done during lunchtime, ladies. Basically, the Mona Lisa laser is a carbon dioxide laser specifically designed to treat vaginal tissue. And it's very similar to laser facial treatments. The procedure uses lasers to make micro abrasions or tiny scratches in the vaginal wall, which stimulates the growth of new blood vessels. 
Now, I have recommended the Mona Lisa laser to cancer survivors who thought that they had already exhausted all possibilities. And you know what? I'm so pleased to report that several patients have told me that it did help restore their sexual potential. And I believe insurance does cover both the O-Shot and the Mona Lisa laser if you're a cancer survivor. So definitely something to talk about with your doctor if you or someone you love has survived breast, uterine, or ovarian cancer. Okay, that's what the doctor can do, but what can you do for yourself? You know what you can do? Yoga! Yes, baby, research shows that yoga practice can improve several aspects of sexual functioning in women. A study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that 12 weeks of yoga, that's three months of yoga, okay? It improved desire, arousal, orgasm, and overall sexual stimulation in women. And I know this is true because every time I teach the Yoga for Better Sex class, and I don't teach it very often, but what? It is always sold out. And a lot of people, they just come repeatedly, okay? When I get some more time, and you better watch out, Yoga for Sex is going to explode across America right along with female orgasmic potential. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some happy American women. That's what I'm talking about. And what else can you do besides yoga? Get yourself some sex education. That's right. That's why you're listening to this show right here, right now. Personally, I actually think this is the most effective way for women to improve our sexual experiences. What? Learn about what turns us on and what doesn't turn us on. For real, yo. I was speaking to a 40-something-year-old woman a couple of weeks ago. She's married with three kids. And guess what? Never had an orgasm, right? She's part of that 15% who has never had an orgasm. And yet she has had three children. That's sad. And she's married. Very, very sad. What's worse, she's never even told her husband about this. And she's never, ever masturbated. And when I recommended that she start exploring masturbation, well, she looked at me like I had three heads. But I'm all right with that because I am a firm believer that women, we are the owners of our own orgasms. And it's up to us to learn about what we like during sex so we can share that information with our partner. And sometimes that means we have to learn more about our sexual selves. We have to learn how to touch ourselves in a way that feels pleasurable. We have to explore our different erogenous zones. We have to become educated about our own sexuality. Mm. That's why I wrote my book, Sex and South Beach. To help people have easy, fun, and informed experiences that lead to better sex. We need more lady-friendly, people-friendly sex education out there. And that is also why we're giving away a sexy-ass vibrator today. We're all about helping the ladies learn more about their bodies. Mm -mm -mm. And ain't nothing like a free vibrating self-study tool to amp up your sexual satisfaction. You heard right. Today we have a gorgeous G-Spot stimulator from Unbound that we are giving to the first person who sends us a screenshot of their podcast review. You heard right. Simply subscribe to the Sex and South Beach podcast on your phone right here, right now. Leave a review. Email a screenshot of that review to Sanjaya at drsanjaya.com. That's S-O-N-J-I-A at D-R-S-O-N-J-I-A dot com. And the first person who sends the screenshot review in is going to win this super sexy self-study tool to help you learn to love yourself a little bit better. Booyah! And now it's time for your climax, baby, when I give you a little something, something to remember me by. Mm -hmm. One, about 15% of women have never had an orgasm. And 50% aren't happy with the quality or the frequency of their current orgasms. In short, we have an orgasmic epidemic going on, ladies. Two, antidepressants, stress, Illness and unskilled partners are all very common causes for this female orgasmic dysfunction problem that the world is dealing with right now. And three, there are both clinical and behavioral therapies to help women improve their sexual functioning. There's Addy, a prescription medication to enhance sexual desire in a woman's brain. The O-Shot, which is going to take some of your blood out, extract the platelet-rich plasma, put it back in your vagina for a boom, a brand new VJJ. That's what I'm about to say. And there's also the Mona Lisa laser. This is an outpatient procedure, and this can also improve sexual satisfaction of women. And if any of these sound interesting to you, you know what you got to do. Boo, you got to talk to your doctor. That's what I'm saying. 
ask your doctor to up their sexual knowledge and give you the help that you deserve. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I think our discussion on female sexual dysfunction was super productive today. <laughs> and the sexiest thing you can do right now is share this show with someone you love. Not only will it inspire a conversation about improving orgasms, but whoever you share it with, what? They're going to improve their sexual knowledge, which is key to achieving better sex. And when every single person in the world is experiencing satisfying sex, what? We're going to have a universe filled with happier, healthier people. No more war. We won't have any time because we'll all be making love. <laughs> For your daily dose of Nookie knowledge, check me out on all the social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You know you can't wait no more to link up. You know, baby, I'm here for you. I'm waiting for that invite. <laughs> I'm Dr. Sanjaya. Thanks so much for turning on Sex in South Beach, where everyone comes for happier, healthier sex.